Now I'm really focused on my right, I mean my left hip. There's no weight over here at all. And the saddle is trying to go that way, but I'm like sitting in here, keeping it down in the well. So push it over, push it over. So what he's used to doing, here's what he's, this is what a lot of riders are guilty of and they don't know it, including me for about 20 years, is when they go a certain direction, they think they're helping their horse by leaning to the outside, moving away from pressure. But what that does is it puts all the weight on their hip and that's what they turn with. So that would make a horse lame if you kept turning them and leaning to the outside, in my opinion. And you know why I know this? Because I deal with this everywhere I go. Now, most horses are sore or off, that have worked a lot, are sore off in the left hip, okay? And that is because when they go to the right, most people sink to the left, like I'm doing. That will cripple your horse if you're riding in circles. Because guess what foot he's turning in here with? This left hind foot. Now, if I want to develop his hip and get it all muscular, I'm going to straighten him up so that he has to really push with it. Now he's really pushing with that left hip. Okay, and I'm keeping him straight. And I'm using lots of leg. Lots of leg. Good. Now I'm checking on my right rein so that he pushes off with his right hind leg to go to the left. And I'm not pulling him to the left. I'm just keeping his head in this position. And this is what's making him turn. Now, if I wanted a little more reaction, I'll start laying this rein on him. But you notice he's not getting upset and he's keeping his head right. Because I'm not trying to sting him. I'll put my foot back here, hold the front end, and ask him to step under himself. And try to hold, try to hold the front end still. They have to push off, be able to push off laterally, right, when they're turning. Okay. Now I'm going to try to hollow out his rib cage on this side so that the saddle stays here and not there. Yeah. So all my weight right now is in my left pocket. I'm pushing his rib cage away from my leg all the time, but going forward. Meanwhile, his nose is in the circle, but his rib cage is out of the circle. A true arc, yes. And it's relaxed. It has to be relaxed. So when I put my leg on him, you'll notice I never thump him. It's just like this. And then if I need backup, it's like this or a spur. Well, I like this because so many forwards, they don't overreact to the legs. No one ever puts their leg on them. They can't see them. Yeah. Yeah. On. yeah. And, and on him. But I do it in rhythm. You'll notice it's in rhythm with him. So it helps him. And so I'll keep flopping that leg. Now I'm going to go this way. And I'll even use one hand on him because he knows how to do this. You see how relaxed he stays, bent? One hand, and I'm not even pulling on him. He's staying hooked on the reins, which is what he's supposed to do. Come on, you can't stop. Inside leg, outside rein. Inside rein does nothing. Now he, he moved way away from my inside leg, so I got way off of him. And now he's staying way away from my inside leg. Good boy.